All right, we'll get started here, everybody. Uh, yeah, really, really fun day. Uh, I'm thankful for a beautiful, uh, beautiful day of weather. I think our you know, fans responded and showed out and made it made a lot of fun for our players. It was just great to see them back in the stands. You know, we don't don't ever take it for granted. Certainly after this game was was taken from us last year, so it was a, a lot of fun to be ready to play. And our, our guys were ready to play. Um, you know, and I think overall, you know, you'd say a successful spring game. Uh, you know, the format, uh, we knew we kind of took a shot in the dark a little bit with the format and actually worked out to make it pretty competitive and interesting there at the end. Uh, but more than that, I, I thought our players, you know, handled the majority of the day well. Um, there was some some really good clean football. I thought some young guys that, that stepped up and got some nerves out and, and made some plays and got a feel for what it's like to play in one of the great football stadiums in America. Um, you know, it looks like we came out uh, pretty injury free. So, uh, you know, overall a successful day and a good cap to, to, to end our spring. Okay, everybody, this is Mike. Um, a little bit different than usual. Please use the raise hand feature today instead of the chat. Uh, the chat is not working for me. Um, we'll start with Barry Trammell. Go ahead, Barry. Yeah, Lincoln. Lincoln. You guys were, uh, when you were at your midfield uh, huddle after the after the game, at one point everybody cheered really loudly. Did some special happen there? Or? Yeah, yeah. We uh, we announced to the team that we're putting Drake Stoops on scholarship, uh, which was uh, was obviously super popular with our guys. It's been a long time coming. Honestly, he's you know earned it you know before this, and we've been a little uh, we've been a little slow to use any of these scholarships with so many of these rules changing right now. Um, uh, just kind of trying to get a lay of the land and get a feel for where we're going to be, but. I uh, knew about two weeks ago that we were going to go ahead and, and, and do this here and thought, thought you know, here at the end of the spring game would be a, a fun way to do it. And you could see the respect our team has for Drake and the way he works every single day. Uh, so when the guy down there that wasn't. Drake Duke came to college today. I mean, and what I was going to ask you about today is, is this is a, uh, you know, good day, good day having fun. fun. Do you now have to go into worry mode that guys might Put themselves in the transfer portal. We saw the guy from Arkansas coming here. Did that after the uh, a week ago in Fayetteville. Oh, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say worry mode. I mean, that's we, we get that that's part of our you know part of our uh, you know, part of our life, you know, it's kind of part of our everyday world. And so, uh, certainly, in the time of very end, we're going to you know sit down and have exit meetings with players and, and talk about. You know, what we saw from the spring and prospects going forward and, and answer questions that they have. So we're, you know, you guys have heard me say it on here a lot. We're, we're always you know, very proactive with that. We, we want there to always be ongoing discussions and, and uh, you understand this is a time where we're, you know, you know, we probably have a few guys that we're going to have that kind of discussion with. And we're not, we're not shying away from it. We're not nervous about it. It's just, that's just kind of the way it goes right now. So yeah. we're, We'll have a meeting with each and every player, and if there's anything like that we have to address, then we certainly will. Thanks, Lincoln. Joe Bettner. Um, Lincoln, wanted to just ask you overall about uh, you know the running backs and as a whole, but it seemed like Eric Gray had a really nice just performance today. Wondering what you thought about him and his ability to kind of make some plays in the open field. Yeah, he had the best day of the group. You know, I thought he ran the most aggressively, um, kept his footing. You know, did some nice things. So I, I thought, um, you know, I thought he was really impressive. And no, no surprise. I mean, he kind of is just one of those guys that shows up and works every day. And you, you know what you're going to get out of him uh, each and every day. And so been impressed there. Uh, you know, Kennedy had a couple limited opportunities. I mean, he slipped on the one that looked like maybe had a chance to go a little ways. And and uh, and I thought he was okay on the others. Um, and wasn't the you know wasn't a ton of production out of the other two guys I can remember off the top of my head. So um, you know, it's a group. I'll say this. I mean, that group's had a good spring. You know, all, all four of those guys have really had some bright moments and done some really good things this spring. But with that, I mean, we have really high expectations for that group. I mean, we, we there's not a reason in the world, in our opinion, why that group shouldn't perform at an elite level and do it day in and day out and game in and game out. So uh, we clearly, you know, got some work to do, but excited about what we do have in there. Thanks, Lincoln. You're welcome. Garen Emig. Yeah, Lincoln, can I ask you about the uh, defense? I assume you feel better about uh, where you are now, uh, even than when you started the spring. Assuming the answer is yes, I do. Why is that? Well, I mean, I think first thing has been just our, our defensive line. 
uh, you know, the depth of talent we have there. You know, we didn't play a few guys there today, but still, I mean, that's uh, – they got a chance to really be a good group. Um, I love the leadership and the big game experience, uh, playmaking ability we have in the linebacking core. And then you know, I think the secondary could turn out about 100 different ways right now, but excited to see how that group grows um, and, and what we can be there because we certainly have, I think – more position battles going on in that secondary. We, we absolutely have more length than we've we've ever had, you know, in my time here at Oklahoma, which is exciting. Um, and it's been a very competitive group. So, yeah, a lot of things that you that you love. Um, I, I mean, I feel like we have a chance to be good at all three levels of the defense. And uh, that's a, now having a chance to be good and being good are, are certainly two different two different things. And we got a lot of work to be done, but there's there's going to be, I think, an opportunity to to really. Uh, to really feel the strong defense. And um, I've enjoyed the way those guys are working and the job that our coaches are doing there. Thank you. Let's go to Kerry Murdoch. Like Lincoln, uh, I, I'm sorry, I got a new computer. Can you hear me okay? Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I'm just curious, you know, one of the things that stood out today was just how tight the coverages were in your secondary. Uh, you know, Bryson Washington on Stogner in the end zone. Billy Bowman, is that just kind of something that you've noticed that's, that's a difference in, in camp with, with them overall? Yeah, and I think that's, you know, I think it goes back. I think Coach Grinch and, and Coach Manning do a tremendous job of, of teaching coverage and, and, and teaching the fundamentals, whether it's press, whether it's off, whether it's man, whether it's zone. They're just so detailed and they, they have a great foundation and a great belief system in what they're teaching and it's in our guys they really do a good job of of implementing that with our players and then you can just see that and so I mean I there's we've had guys in this program that I think you know as they've got under these two coaches you just their coverage ability has just really risen and really improved and now I think you're seeing a group that overall can really stick to some people uh, and can make things tough and uh, so um, you know, give credit to our coaches. We, I think I give a lot of credit to the players and then the amount of competition we have in that room. I mean, because our guys know right now, you know, you get run by, you know, you're not you're not sticking to people in coverage. You make mental mistakes. Other people are going to be in the game. I mean, and that's just the reality when you have the depth and competition that we do, and it's a great thing to have. Has that been frustrating for you in camp, being the offensive coordinator at the time? Yeah, yeah. I mean, during the actual moment when I'm calling a play, yes. And then the second it's over, I'm happy they're on my team. Ryan Aber. Yeah, Lincoln, uh, wondering what you made of uh, Caleb Williams' play today, both with his, his arm and his feet. And just how have you seen his, his understanding and comfort level of this offense evolve uh, here during the spring? Yeah, I thought I thought Caleb did a, was solid. You know, I thought he was pretty decisive on the day, which is you know you guys hear me use that word all the time. You know, when referencing quarterbacks, but that's I think so important at that position. And I thought he had one of the, the most decisive days that he probably had all spring uh, out there today. So you know, he just kind of felt calm and in control really the whole time. But made made good decisions, made some pretty good throws, um, uh, got the ball out of his hands. So yeah, I thought he. You know, for first time out there and, and kind of in that in that moment, I thought he did a nice job. And, um, you know, he's he's still got so many things to clean up, clean up and learn, um, you know, as we go forward. But, um, you know, I think, you know, he certainly has, you know, ability to do a lot of things well and, and showed some of those things today. Is it how tough is it to get guys to that point where they are decisive and, and making those decisions as quickly as they have to at this level? Yeah, I, I mean, it takes time, you know, I mean, there's, there's, there's learning it just simply, where does this guy go on this play? What do I do? Uh, and then there's a, just a deeper understanding of it and, and learning to be decisive, learning to get the ball out of their hands, anticipating things. And that's, you know, he's kind of in that phase now. I mean, he's, he's getting to the point where he has, for the most part, a pretty good idea of obviously what people are doing on plays. Um, and he's starting to, to see and understand it more, but you know, it's just, it's reps, it's time together. It's time that, that he and any other player in our program spend outside of here on it. Uh, and the more you put into it, the faster it comes. Appreciate it, Lincoln. Well, John Hoover. Lincoln, hey, I'm wondering if you're able to update us on Bridges and McGowan status. Uh, no, no update. We're, you know, kind of like everybody else, just uh, letting this thing play out from a legal standpoint, and then we'll, we'll make any decisions we've got to make from there. Okay. Are you able to comment on Mike Woods yet? Uh, no. 
No, okay. Real question then. What do you think the offensive line today with all the injuries, all the movement, all the stuff going on, looked like the guys up front were pretty solid on both units? Yeah, I thought they were. I thought they were. I thought they, you know, didn't have just a ton of pressures. Um, you know, I thought we, the centers, it looked like snapped well. And, uh, you know, we were in the right call the majority of the time. Had a couple of, of mistakes, but did some good things. That, that are, and uh, we've had, you know, a number of guys that have really improved. And we've, the one thing we've really made a point of, you know, really this entire spring with the O-line and really all positions is just, you know, we don't have a starting group. We don't have a, an A group. We don't have, I mean, we, we've rotated guys all over the place and just just trying to really, you know, do what we tell these guys we're going to do, which is take a step back and, and just look at everybody, no preconceived notions, not based on what you've done before. And let's just, let's, let's see who is performing in the moment right now. And uh, so we have worked with a lot of different combinations. And I think, you know, some of, some of those young guys have really grown and done some good things and are certainly going to be pushing for playing time. And um, it's made, made another, another room there that's going to be very, very competitive, um, you know, especially when you add, you know, Robison and Anton and a couple of those guys into the, into the fold as well. Thanks, Lincoln. Mm-hmm. Okay, a couple more, James Hale and then Josh Calloway. Lincoln, you had a uh, Lincoln. You had a chance to play uh, a number of your young players today. So it, from that standpoint, it was a great scrimmage, and uh, you know you got so many guys in. Clayton Smith made a bunch of plays, and you know you had a bunch of guys that were flying around. Got to feel good about your youth and your depth in your in your program, don't you? Yeah, I mean that was one of the big goals of the day is to get those guys exposed. You know, to let them get out there, let them feel what it's like, see who's gonna you know, rise their game up and really do what they've been coached to do. And, and, uh, and I thought, yeah, the majority of the young guys handled it well and showed up and made some plays. So it's in spring games valuable for everybody, but certainly for those young guys, uh, just to, just to, again, just to kind of get that feel. Um, now, like I said, told them it's going to be, it'll be a little bit different when there's 60 more thousand people in there come, uh, come September, right. but, uh, today was a great start. Thanks, Link. You're welcome. Josh Calloway. Yeah, Lincoln, just want to ask about one of those young guys, Mario Williams, um, you know, seemed to be one of the better receivers out there today. I don't have a stats right in front of me, had the 50 yard or just what you thought about his, you know, first first game action, I guess, with OU. Yeah, he did. He did some good things. I mean, he fumbled the reverse. Uh, other than that, I mean, he, he made a great play, you know, very competitive play down the field that honestly, DJ Graham made a great play on too. It was pretty uh Pretty impressive, honestly, by both those guys. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so I thought he did some 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 nice things. Um, he's had he's had a pretty good spring. The majority of days have been productive days, and he's uh, he's certainly got some burst and some ability. I mean, I think you could everybody can can see that. So, uh, you know, excited what he can do, and and I think he's certainly going to have a chance to be a contributor for us. Appreciate it, Lincoln. You're welcome. All right, thank you, Coach. All right, thanks everybody. Thanks, Lincoln.